This is an Snare and Lodge Coop and one of our wonderful subscribers has asked us to show you our complete spring deep cleaning routine on our coops and along the way we can explain why we say the Nistera Coop is so much easier to clean than our wooden coops. Welcome to English Country Life. My name's Fiona and together with my lovely husband Hugh, we run a small holding homestead here in Lincolnshire in the UK. Now, if you're a regular subscriber to the channel, you'll know we are huge fans of the Nestera Coop brand and we've published review videos of their ground coop, their wagon, their race coop, and this one, the lodge. And one of our subscribers said, what do you actually do if you do a spring clean, deep clean on your coop? So we thought we'd demonstrate this on this Nestera Lodge. And along the way, we can explain why it's easier to clean these than one of our wooden coops. Now overall there's one big reason and that is that wooden coops have slats of wood which generally overlap each other and that gives lots of joints and crevices for dust to collect and for mites to actually hide in and you really don't want mites with your chickens. But the Nestera Coop are made with large single sheets of 9mm 100% recycled plastic and that means there's few of those joints and mites are much less of a problem and that's why they say these are red mite resistant. Now the other big advantage of Nestera Coops just very quickly is that they come with a 25 year warranty so I don't know of any other coop manufacturer out there that has that much faith in their products. So 25 year warranties that's absolutely amazing and if you do want one of these coops there are discounts available to you so use the links in the description down below and that discount will be automatically applied at checkout but we need to give this coop a full spring deep clean anyway because it was where our cream leg bars and pumpkin the well summer slept over winter when they were in a flock down compliant enclosure and flock down there was something we had in the UK to help prevent the spread of avian influenza but that's now been lifted and the chickens are back out in a free range area so we're going to scrub this down completely we're going to start by looking at the equipment we use and then along the way I'm going to show you some hints and tricks to show you just what it is about these coops that make it easier to clean. So let's get started and have a look at that equipment. Don't worry, the equipment I'm going to use to clean the coop down is really simple. First off, I'm going to use a trug with a dustpan and brush, and that's going to be used to get the soil bedding from inside the coop out. Now, inevitably, I can't get everything. There's going to be dust and debris left in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to use a pressure washer. Yeah, a pressure washer. And that's also going to help me to get rid of the dried on poop from Crumble, who stood on top of that coop regularly to survey our territory. And the pressure washer is really going to help me get rid of that. I'm then going to use some warm soapy water so that's just some warm water with some washing up liquid in it with a scrubbing brush and I'm going to scrub the inside and out of the coop thoroughly and then I'm going to use the pressure washer again to get rid of any soap suds and then finally I'm going to spray it with a good quality insecticidal disinfectant and we generally use Smite we really like it but there are others that you can get now this is a concentrate so I have to pump it into a pressure sprayer add the right dilution of water and there's full instructions on the back and then I'm going to use that to spray the entire coop inside and out every element of it once that's dried I can put it back together and the coop is ready to go can go out into the orchard now that is a basic outline of the entire process but I will take you through it and while I do that you're going to see some of the key features on the Nestera coops which makes cleaning them so much easier than other coops that are available so let's get started with with sorting that bedding out. Accessing soil bedding on the Nestera coops is very straightforward. The ground coop, the raised coop and the lodge all have removable backs and the wagon has a front door which opens entirely so you can really get inside the coop to sort any of the dirt or soil bedding that's in there. But let me show you how getting the back off this coop is straightforward. First off I'm going to take out these two linchpins that are either side. Then I'm going to lift these handles and then as you can see the whole back can just be taken off. Now we've got an added advantage in here because underneath these perches we've got these droppings trays and that means that the majority of bedding if we just lift the droppings trays out I can just tip it straight into the truck 
and it's as easy as that very very straightforward now what i want to do to get at the last of the debris is to get the perches out now they are held in place by linchpins over this side so let me just pull that one out and then i can just push that out of the way I'll get the other one out and then I can push that out of the way. Now that gives me full access to what's left inside the coop. So I'm just going to very quickly use my dustpan and brush. And that's that. Now I've still got some bedding in the nest box. So let me show you what I can do with the nest box. To remove bedding from the nest box, I'm just going to take the nest box off completely. And that's a simple process. First thing is to take these two linchpins out. That takes the roof off. Next, on the inside of the coop, there are three linchpins at the top. And I'm just going to pull each one out. Once those are removed, all I have to do is lift the nest box from the bottom, pull it out, and there you go. The bedding can then just be tipped out into the chug and I'm not making a very neat job of this but I can rake up the remainder from the gra grass later and there we have it now it's time for the fun bit <laughs> The next thing I want to do is scrub the inside of this coop and the outside for that matter with warm water that's got some washing up liquid in it and using just a simple scrubbing brush. But there's one extra thing about the coop that makes cleaning it out easy because the inside of this coop underneath the roof is going to be soaking wet now from using that pressure washer and I don't want to get soaked. The Nestera allows me to take the roof off very quickly and it means cleaning it becomes a bit of a dream. So let me show you that. The first thing I need to do is let this door handle down so I can actually take the roof off and it goes through that hole there. And then I've just got a series of linchpins again. There's actually eight of them in total. And I'm just going to go around and take these off. Last one, there we go. And then all I have to do is just take it off like that and there we have it i can get to the inside of the coop no problem at all Time to remove all of the soap suds from scrubbing the coop down and because the roof's off and all the components are laid out I have an easy life. So what I want to do now is make sure that the coop is draining properly and then I can spray it with the insecticidal disinfectant. To drain the coop, there's one additional trick up Nestera's sleeve and I've actually got this coop on a slight slant but if you're on the level there are some drainage holes already pre-cut into the base of the coop. So it makes actually cleaning down so much simpler. I think this thought of everything. The final part of our spring clean, deep clean on any of our coops is to use this insecticidal disinfectant. And it is a concentrate, so it's in this pump sprayer. I've diluted it to the right level. And all I'm gonna do now is thoroughly spray inside and outside every single component on the coop.
and paying particular attention to any areas where panels actually join, so where there are joints. Now it has to be said, on an Acericoop there are very few of those because there's large sheets of plastic. And if you're doing this on a wooden coop, it would actually take an awful lot longer. Now that job's complete, I'm just going to wait for it to dry. Well, the coop is dry. I've just left it to air dry for about half an hour and it's such a beautiful day. It's absolutely fine. What's left to do on this deep clean? Well, all I need to do is put the coop back together. The spring deep clean on this coop is now complete and I'm hoping you can see how much easier it is to clean this coop compared to a, an equivalent wooden coop. The roof comes off, the nest box comes off, you can get droppings trays as an optional extra which makes it easy to get soil bedding out but best of all because of that 9mm recycled large sheets of plastic there are very few joints for nasties like red mite to, to actually hide in and it means that dust doesn't gather very easily either. So it is red mite resistant. Don't forget all of these coops come with a 25 year guarantee and if you use the links in the description down below there's a discount available to you and that will be automatically applied on checkout if you use those links. If you have liked this video take a moment and give us a thumbs up down below. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel hit subscribe and the bell icon it's a completely free service you'll get to know of every single new video as soon as it goes live. If you've got a question for us that hasn't been answered in this video pop it in the comment section and we'll do our get best to get back to you so as soon as possible. And if you've got an idea for a video you'd like us to film, don't forget this video came about from a subscriber question. Pop that in the comments too and we may even make that video for you. But for now, thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.